You know, it happens to everyone. First day of school, you have those butterflies the night before, you can't sleep, you get those jitters. I can't imagine what it's like to play in your first college football game, your freshman of the year. Certainly two talented guys. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios, inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. Yogi Roth, Curtis Conway, and Mike Yam with you. You told me this before the season even started. You said Josh Rosen is the most gifted passer in the Pac-12 conference. He had yet to play a game, and yet he is your freshman of the year. Why? He didn't flinch. You know, his stats are insane, and that's great. But when you look at him in unique moments, he never made the same mistake twice. And we all knew he was going to make mistakes. That's just the part of the, the pilgrimage, which is being a true freshman starting quarterback in the Pac-12 conference. But when you turn the tape on, he never screwed up twice. He never read a coverage wrong twice. And to me, that's the steps of a learner. And when he did make a poor read, he talked about it. He recognized it. I love it. And then you put him around Jim Moore, and he gets that mentality, that competitive mentality that he's instilled in that program. Josh Rosen, freshman of the year, it wasn't even close. We talked about it in the preseason. And I, I truly believe in the quarterback gods, built the quarterback, they built a guy like Josh Rosen. So I'm fired up for his career. Now is the challenge of where are you going from your freshman year, amazing freshman year, to your sophomore and junior season. Well, Cameron Smith, defensively, I mean, think about that game against Utah, those three interceptions, mm -hmm. that stands out, leading the team in tackles. What was special about his year? Well, I think, number one, when you look at a true freshman, you look at the people around him. And normally you say, okay, he has a stud at the other linebacker or he has a really good defensive line and no slight on USC's defense, but this guy stood out. And you talked about the big game against Utah. I think that's when everyone really took notice to what he was able to do. Number one, they had to stop Booker, but then all of a sudden, Travis Wilson is throwing the ball. He intercepts him three times. And I think that was the point where everybody started to really take notice of him. But you hit it. He was playing solid all year and definitely earned that, uh, that award. Well, here's the good news. He is going to have an outstanding career wearing a USC uniform. The bad news is we actually won't see him on the football field on Saturday dealing with that knee injury, so he is out for the season. Someone you will see, though, on the field, Yogi Roth will be all over the place at Levi's Stadium. So if you want to right. hang out with Yogi at the game, pack-12.com slash tickets. Now, let's just say you can't make it to Levi's Stadium. What are you going to do? Mm. You're going to watch the pregame show. It's not that Conway. far. He's going to be sitting right there. It's not that far. 44.8 miles. We clocked it door to door. You'll be able to watch it 3.30 Pacific right here on the Pac-12 Network as we get you set for the champ game. USC and Stanford playing for a Pac-12 crown.